hiatus it was. We're gonna listen into yeah that. And you told me how to switch. Do I need, I turn turn this on though? Don't I? That's right. Isn't that how I switch? Yep. Okay, so that on. And that's where I'm gonna get the altimeter. Right. The weather. Press any key to continue. South Valley Traffic Archer 970 with Charlie Point about 6,500 last call, South Valley Traffic. And do you remember what weather frequency we have? 134. Yep. So you can switch them with that button. Okay. Um, oh, it's standby and active. Okay. The calm visibility 10. Clear below 1, 2,000. Temperature minus 0 Celsius. Dew point minus 3. Altimeter 3053. 3053. South Valley Regional high. Airport. Automated weather observation. Say. 1, 7, 2, Niner. Zulu weather. Wind. Calm. Visibility 1, 0. Clear below one two thousand temperature minus zero Celsius dew point minus three altimeter three zero five three. So so wind calm. You don't change that heading at all now, or do you just you line it up with the runway? Always line it up with the runway. That's right. Okay. Regional airport. Did you get everything you needed from the weather? Weather observation Jake? one seven three so. zero Zulu. Let's go ahead weather. and switch it back. Wind then. calm visibility. Yeah, as soon as you're done, go ahead and switch it back. We can listen to the CTAF for okay. traffic calls and stuff. Okay. Um, Alt Squawk Plus. I don't need to do anything there, do I? You don't because the uh, transponder that's installed here actually does that automatically. So if you actually if you hit the continue button to sequence through here, go ahead and do that. You'll see. Do it again. The transponder here is set at 1200, which is a VFR squawk code, and this will switch automatically as required. So okay. Okay, ADSB on. That's what this is as well. Okay. And then radio test. We don't really need to do that right here, right? Yeah, we just listen for, for traffic. We'll make our announcements. Taxi lights as required. Is that going to be this one? Or do we good with the with the uh, with the um? I think the light? landing light will be just fine for a taxi. Okay. And then brakes test. Let's just take this off first. All right. Okay, clear right. Altitude indicator test. That would be altitude or attitude. Attitude, sorry. That's this. So it's it's erect. It's up and alive. Okay. And there's really nothing we really need to do for okay. that. Just look at it. Turn coordinator test. This should be like near the center. And when we turn, the airplane should turn in the direction, and the ball should go to the outside. So when we taxi here, when we make our first turn, watch that. Even as we, even though we're not like uh -huh. pitched. Yep. So, so these are two different indications here. They are, yeah. That's your roll, runway roll. Runway that's right. And then this is your uh, slip, basically. Slip. So that okay. tells you whether or not you're flying straight through the air. Uh, okay. um, so the ball's the same indicator. If the, it's to the inside or the outside, uh, you're either slipping or skidding in, early in a turn. Right base, the final taxiway alpha. Okay, sounds great. Parallel 1-6, going for H3. Okay, turn coordinator down. test, that was South that. Yeah. HI to compass test. I don't think that's... So, heading indicator here should match your magnetic compass, magnetic. or be close to. Okay. Randy, I've seen people take off on 3-4 today, and now 1-6. Oh. Earlier people were taking off the other direction. It seems like a majority of the guys are taking off 1-6 now. Okay. We'll watch for it, though, for sure. Okay. Cool. What else? Okay, run up. All right, so we, we need a taxi to our, taxi. our up. So it is, we're, we're taxiing to which runway, did we say? Well, now Which one would you taxi to? Um, I would taxi to ones. I guess let's let me see where's that windsock at. Well, that dude. Um, I would taxi to three four. What did the wind say on the iPad? No, no, sorry, that's not true. One six. So the wind was calm. The windsock doesn't look like it's moving at all. Um, that may be the last position that it was in when the wind stopped. But most of the the people in the
pattern right now are utilizing one six. So this guy taking off. Okay. Yeah. And Jordan was saying a second ago that he's seen he's seen traffic yeah, in both directions. Yeah, people were taking off the other way, right, Jake? Earlier, there was a couple planes that went up north. I do not recall. I that's, swear. That's okay. So we'll just we'll just taxi to one six for now. So we're gonna do South Valley. Seven five zero three whiskey. Check into full tail number. Seven five zero three whiskey. That's what I said, didn't I? What did I say? Oh, I thought you said zero three whiskey. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You're good. Seven five zero three whiskey. Probably cut out. South Valley seven five zero three whiskey. Taxiing to runway one six via. Bravo. Southern traffic, country 100 Delta, right down in one. What is it, taxi? Uh, via, via Bravo, you're right. V just via Bravo, I just via Bravo. Call it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. South Valley 7503 Whiskey, taxiing to runway 16 via Bravo. South Valley. Nice. Is, that, is, that, is the windsock in that tower out Tango. there? Eight and a half miles yeah. It's not moving at the top? Yep. Okay. That's this, what they call the segmented circle. Do you guys remember reading about that or hearing it on the videos? Yeah, where is that? So it's the, right beneath it, the red and white um, blocks, those are indicating the traffic pattern direction. And that's called a segmented circle. You'll see it from the air. You can't really see it from here. Oh, okay. But you'll see it. I was going to say, I don't Final. see it. Okay, we're clear on the right. Car on the left. South Valley. South Valley traffic, Cherokee 1157 X ray turning right downwind, runway 16, South Valley. Nice. It's busy out here today, huh? Yeah, it is. So, you can kind of see, though, on the, the north and south side of that segmented circle, that there's two longer blocks that come out, one going south and one coming towards us, and then again, on the north side, one going south and one coming towards us. That's that's telling you that the traffic pattern is right pattern for one six and, and left pattern for for three four. I can explain that better on a piece of paper because yeah. it'll it'll make a heck of a lot more I sense. I still don't see what you're talking about, so I guess. Yeah. Here. It, it's easier to see from the air too. I also, when I asked that question earlier, I was not looking at the right spot. Oh, and I can see it now. <laughs> I was looking at that one over to the right. That's just like a tower. Oh, that one. Yeah. yeah. Well. You explained it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's got a flat tire. That blows. We have a spare one, buddy. <laughs> I probably do, actually. We have one in, in my garage. garage. There's one in the back here. <laughs> you probably do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> in one of those, like, hundred boxes you have stacked up? Yeah. Man, this is a perfect taxi, Jake. You're doing a good job. Thank you. This is awesome. Yeah. I like myself when I'm <laughs> fully here. <laughs> fully here. <laughs> That's so funny. A little fady, a little cloudy last oh, week. The women, apparently the women like me more when I'm not. When you're not here? Oh, that's when I'm funny. not fully there. When, when, when he's gone. When you're tipsy. They're like, wow, you are way nicer when you don't have any inhibitions. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to be defensive. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> with lower power settings it, it'll do that. Look at that. Plane landing. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It is pretty. I mean, it's got a studio in here now. Freaking GoPros oh, yeah. everywhere. I oh think, yeah. I think this is in a good spot too. I moved it up so it's like touching the ceiling. It'll make gr great marketing material so for you, Randy. Right I've got to be shoulder. careful what I say. Ooh. So, yeah, as you come into the corner here, just pull the power back a little oh. bit and then apply the brakes. Yeah, makes it a lot easier. Fly neighborly. You know what they mean by that? Don't prolong flight over neighborhoods. Don't. Yeah. It's said on the sign below that. Oh, it explained, it, explained it in the sign? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I thought I was being smart. Damn it. <laughs> so that's an archer. It's basically a newer version of this. Really? Cool. Yeah. You can see the tapered wing too, which is pretty sweet compared to our our Hershey bar rectangular wings. What in the world? It, it's oh, a much a more efficient. At the front? Uh huh. That's cool. It's much more efficient. How much more expensive is that plane? Quite a bit more. <laughs> Need to get. We should get a student flyer bumper sticker on these planes. <laughs> we should. Like a magnetic one that you can just slap on the side whenever there's a student pilot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they make those. Oh, look at that guy coming. Actually, 
And now that I look at it, it's an uh, arrow. This is a, a retractable landing gear. Ooh. So it's a version of this, a newer version of this that also has complex gear. Guy coming in for a landing back here. All right, gentlemen. Let's do this run up. Brakes. Now the run up this brakes means we want to put them in because we're going to be testing. That's right. Everything's going good. Is he high? Let's set this a little bit um, higher to a thousand. Remember every time we stop. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Notice, and, and a lot of the reason why it struggles too is because with the, the lower RPM, the engine-driven oil pump is not allowed to pump the oil through the system, and it kind of bogs the engine down. So as you, not, it's not even noticeable that much, but when you power it up, the, the pressure, the needle increases quite a bit. Okay. Cool. So touchy. Okay. Fuel, proper tank. We've got the right tank. All right, I'm going to switch over. Careful with this cord. Careful with what? When you sit back the cord, just pay attention because you might pull it. Okay. Okay, trim to take off. Oh, we're pretty much neutral. Cool. Um, flight controls. The right. Left. Up and down. Look at the elevator. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if I want to. You, you can see, you can see like the edge or the shadow. Yeah. If you look back there. A lot of times you want to test the rudders too. Um, but with this particular airplane, since there's an interconnect with the rudder and the nose gear, it's not very easy to do, and, and you cause more strain than necessary. So we don't we don't actually check that in this airplane. Okay. We just we just do it live. Yeah. So enunciator lights. Those is it? We don't have them. Okay. This plane doesn't have them. Instruments. Check to make sure they're all good. Uh. So the VSI. Your vertical speed indicator down there is showing about a hundred foot per minute climb. Okay. So we can right. we can go ahead and just change that to in our reference just use one hundred as zero. We're allowed to do that. Okay. Wait, in what? So we just pay, basically change the zero mark on on the VSI. Okay. We, we don't you know we don't go in there and change it, but we just use one hundred now as the zero point. Is this going to show us the this side? That is going to show us the. That'll show airspeed. This is vert. Air sorry, speed. this is vertical speed. Um, how much we're going up and down, right? How quickly we're going up and down. I can display vertical speed on. I don't think you can. I can't. Um, actually, there's a trend that'll show you up and down, but it doesn't okay. show you really the the vertical speed in feet per minute. Oh, okay. Um. It's mixture to best power. So we're going to go up to 2,000 RPM here. Do this first. Let's go full rich. Oh, and full then set rich. the power. Did we change that heading? Not yet. So now I'm going to pull out until I see a drop. That's right. And I'm going to push back in just a bit. Correct. So this is what is called setting best power. Okay. And I may state what I'm doing in it, even though it's obvious, I'm stating it for the video as well. You should reference. you should just do that in general no matter what. Stating what? What I'm about to do, why I'm doing it. So, okay, that just came down a little. So about right there. And actually, so you, you you set it back to the peak, now increase it just a hair further than that. Push it in? Yep. Maybe an eighth of an inch. And that would be set as best power. If you just keep it at peak, um, you're, you're getting, you're not getting as much power as you would mm. if you set just a little bit more rich at peak. Okay. Traffic stack, five on final Okay, primer in and locked. So before, oh, go ahead. Actually, I just want to make sure we didn't skip something. Make okay, sure okay. Power. Good, now we're going to do the 7 at 2,000 RPM. Now, 
It wants Make to sure the best power should have already had us set that to 2,000 RPM. It did. Yeah, but it didn't. It didn't tell us to, but... So that almost needs to be moved, like, right, right. before. Okay, max test. Go to... I assume the right. Oh, so that's it, confusing. It's backwards, huh? It's backwards, yeah. I was trying to... Nice. Slight dip. So that's the left Mac. Okay. What's our limitation or tolerance on that? Um, I'd say 500 RPM. Let's go back to both real quick. So does it say it on there though? It, it, it does not say. Oh, it might have number two. Does that mean I can run up 1800 RPM for a mad check? That's cool. I think it, yeah. The earlier models. Yeah, so in the POH, I swear it said to go to 2000, but. Or maybe it says it here too. Huh. Yeah, it's 2000. Earlier models. Okay. Oh, I thought you were talking about the drop. Like what our limit on the drop is. It, and that's what I am talking about. Um, but it doesn't really say here. So what I remember it saying though in the POH is that you should have no more than about uh, a 50, uh, I'm sorry, 100 really RPM on the drop or between 100 and 150. And between the two max, they should match. They should be within maybe 50 or 75 RPM of each other. And, okay, so but shouldn't we also, so is this telling us we need to do, is this considered an older model? They don't have the date. Yeah. At uh, 1800 instead of 2000. What I remember is that the uh, the POH said 2000. And it says right there. Yeah. So we'll, we'll keep doing it the way we are. So this must not, oh, oh, I see. I, I see what this But Okay, let's check the uh, right back. Good, so it's about a 75 RPM drop, and that's about what the, the other one did as well. So they're within tolerances. Great. So we'll go back to both. Okay, RP check. Okay. So we're going to check for loss of power here. Why? Because the air is getting warmer, thus it is less dense. Cool. Nice. Our heat works. Vacuum, we don't. Yep, we don't even have. It yeah. says in op. Amps and bolts. Charging. Okay. Fuel pressure. Green. Oil pressure is in the green. Oil temperature is in the green. Idle check closed. Uh, so we're just going to drop it all the way? See um, all the way running. to, idle, to all idle. the way out. Yep, Sorry. that's right. When it, when it says close, so basically what they're talking about is that the butterfly valve on the carburetor is closing, so it's preventing air from going through. That's what that means. Okay. We're just checking to see that the plane doesn't die. That's right. Uh, and then I can put it back up. Oh, that's the friction lock, right? Yeah. Okay. So back up to 1,000 here, right? Right. Yep. No. Okay, flaps, we're going to need zero. Fuel pump is on. I've moved on to the takeoff checklist. Okay. Okay. It's Fuel pump. Right. Yeah. And mixture to best power. Where did we get that? Did that. Right down okay, RP is off. That's off. Pedo heat as required. It is busy. We don't have any pedo heat. Uh, uh, walk. We're good there. Heading bug. So we'll set the runway heading on the heading bug. So basically, you just twist this until it says one six. Faster. Zero one six or just one six zero one six zero. Yeah, 60. that's right. Nice. Doors and windows closed. That locked. It is latched. Landing lights are already on. Strobes are on. So this would be our strobes. This will be our strobe. Yep. Okay, pulse. Okay, time no and break. Okay, so it's uh, 10.48. Alright, so let's do a quick um, departure briefing. So we're taking off runway 16 today. It's almost, what, 6,000 foot of runway. We're probably gonna use about 1,000 maybe to get off the ground. And if anything happens prior to rotation, prior to lifting the nose wheel, we should abort. 
If anything happens after rotation with usable runway remaining, we'll land on the runway. If we have unusable runway, there's a field just south of the, the airport we can pitch for, the soccer fields. And if we're above 1,000 feet, we'll assess the situation and see if we can turn back for the runway. Any emergency, I'll take controls. Okay? Perfect. Let's do a 360 and check for traffic, and we'll depart. Do you want to do the 360 like, out there more, or just kind of... Yeah, yeah, let's move forward. And, and I like to do the, the 360 over here in the direction of the traffic pattern, right? So let's go out and make a right turn. We got this helicopter. He's cool. He's cool. <laughs> Sounds cool. Keep the turn coming in. We got one on final. There he is. Cool. So let's go hold short of the runway. And typically when we do this, we want to try and point in the direction of uh, the final leg as well. Three miles out to the uh, southwest on a 45 right now, wind 1 to 6, full south, south valley. South valley traffic helicopter 221, whiskey mic, turning right base to final approach, taxiway Alpha Hotel 4, parallel 1 6 south valley. And power up. South valley, just by third increase, short final 1 6, touch and go, south valley. Touch and go. Okay. As soon as he lifts off, we can enter the runway. Let's make the radio call as well. So That'll be, uh, yeah, go ahead. South Valley 7503. Off runway 36. Uh, 16. It'd be 16. 16, sorry. Sir. And then we try to incorporate what we're going to do after into that as well. So we'll okay, we go ahead. Got a helicopter here. Is he. He's going to be landing on the taxiway. Taxiway Alpha. Alpha. And okay. this guy's airborne, so let's do it. Uh, what, are the, what are we doing after? Going Departure heading east. to the east. South Valley 7503, Whiskey, taking off runway 16. Departing east, South Valley. Nice. Traffic nice. Tango Tail, right downwind one six. Is he coming final? Is he coming base? Nope, nope. He's just downwind, so we're good. Southwest we have time. All right. Remember the callouts. Um, just. 55. Uh, power set, airspeed's alive, gauges in green, and then 55 rotate. Start pulling. Let's do it. Toes down on the bottom of the pedals, right rudder. Nice. Okay, power set, airspeed's alive, gauges in the green. 55, rotate. Go ahead and pull back. Right rudder. Notice how the, the nose kind of drifted left yep. as we lift it off. And that's because the nose wheel leaves the ground. As it leaves the ground, you don't have that friction anymore. So the nose automatically wants to sway left because of the turning tendencies. Nice. So I would apply a little more right rudder. Notice the ball is slightly outside. So if you apply right rudder, the, the airplane will fly more coordinated. And then we can begin to turn to the east and fly towards Little Cottonwood Canyon. And uh, soup on the ground. Yeah. Um, let's stay below 6,000. So we're going to climb up to maybe 5,800. And what is that? How many feet? 5,800. 5,800. And then we'll start leveling off. Uh, you should level off slightly before, but yes, that's where, where we'll end. Yeah, I got to get out of the soup. Saying traffic, clear back, that we're, you know, two miles southeast of the airfield, 5,500 transitioning Southwest eastbound. Will we contact South Valley for yeah. that? Yeah, go ahead. So we say South Valley 7503, Whiskey, 
transitioning. We're about two miles to the southeast, and we're heading eastbound, 5,000. Uh, two miles to the southeast. Yep. South Highway 750 through west. We're about three miles southeast. Three miles southeast. Heading eastbound. Heading eastbound. 5,600. 5,700. Heading east. South Valley. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, that was a new type of call. So, no, that's perfect. You're going to goof it up. Let's level off here. I'll level off. We pitch first, then power. Correct. We're both at the same time. And trim. Yeah, we can combine all these steps. What's the ideal RPM when we just want level? I mean, I know it would fluctuate a little bit. Well, when we're trying to get somewhere quick, usually full throttle is, is acceptable as long as we're not exceeding the red line. So the red line is 2600, and we pull it back too to just kind of stay ahead of the plane for training purposes. But um, we should, I think, would be perfectly fine to do 24 or 2500 in the RPM when we're flying around level. We just want to make sure it doesn't exceed 26. And push forward slightly because we're still on that climb. Looking out the window. As, do we just got to stay under 6,000 until I 15? That's right, yep. So we're still on a slight climb here, so we push forward. As you accelerate, the aircraft continues to want to climb. Keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward. Uh, as soon as we get cross I-15 here, we'll be able to climb up. <laughs> One thing that's important is that you shouldn't glue your eyes to this instrument. Check it every now and then, but the best way to do this is to see what's going on outside. But since we've crossed I-15, let's go ahead and begin to climb. We're going to go up to 7,500. South Valley Cherokee, 579 straight turning right cross on runway 16, close back. During the climb, what I'd like for you to do is pull out that checklist and see if we've got everything done for after takeoff. So this is going to require that you divide your attention inside and outside. Crawl, rotate, climb, 87, power, mixture. Do I need to turn the um, uh, fuel pump off? What's the checklist say? It does say full throttle, 2300, oh no, that's, sorry, 87 power, mixture, fuel pump off. Cool. If it says to do it, let's go ahead and do it. Now your eyes should be drawn here. Check for fuel pressure. That's right. And it decreased slightly, but it's still holding in there, so that's good. Okay. Instruments. Taxi landing light off. Flight plan open. Should I turn the light? Um, what we're going to do is, is maneuver out here, so we're going to leave it on. If we're going from, let's say we're doing a trip somewhere, and we're exiting the valley, we turn it off. But since we'll be maneuvering in it, and it gives us better visibility, let's keep it on. Okay. Um, and it says instruments, so I'm just going to check to make sure the instruments are working. 800, passing. And then flight plan open. So no. we don't we don't have a flight plan right now. But if we were doing a flight trip, cross country or something like that, we have we would have filed something. Okay. So that's just reminding you to go ahead and open that. We let go of the controls for a second. You're fighting it. See how the nose is dipping? Yep. Let's go ahead and pull it back to where it was. Although Let's pull it back to where it was, continue the climb, and then re-trim. Pull it back up to the pitch attitude that it was before you let go. Are we good heading this? Let's let's do a turn to the yeah. north. <laughs> like, so I do you that first, then we'll do yeah. that. You're, <laughs> you're in control of the plane, Jake. Yeah. Gotcha. The, the more we fly, the less muscle I'm going to tell you what to do. Very cool. <laughs> That's the goal. i got to do these cross countries by myself. That's right. Sweet turn. Oh, that's so cool. This is why we do this. 
Today is a beautiful day too. Yeah, it's a good idea to let go every now and then, you know, and just see what the plane's doing. And it's doing great. You have it trimmed pretty well right now. Coming up on 74. <coughs> yeah, when I start to level off here, slow down. Just, down. Right just like fill on a gas tank, tank. gotta stop it right at the penny. <laughs> Now you gotta stop at 50 cents before the penny. So when we start doing the maneuvers too, it's probably a good idea to give yourself some space from the mountain. Um, I'd, I'd say this is as close as you would want to get for maneuvers. Maybe, maybe even widen it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so as you're leveling off too, think about the pre-maneuver checklist that we have to do. It's that acronym I always tell you guys about. Gumps? Crags and gumps, right? Yep. So clearing turns, radio calls, verify your altitude, and then run the gumps. So let's go ahead and do all of that and we'll get into our maneuvers. And as you're doing this too, we can begin to slow the plane down with power to our setting of 2000 that we've been using for, for maneuvers. As you do that, notice the plane is somewhat coming over the hill. It's trying to pitch forward. So we have to compensate by pulling back on the yoke. There you go, nice. South Valley 357 X-ray turning right across the front runway 16. Let's do a clearing turn. Maybe to the left and head to the, the south or towards the point of the mountain. So do I want to set trim now that I'm pulling back? Do I want to set trim before I do that clearing turn? Like am I constantly trying to you're, you're, yeah, you're constantly you can do the the turn as at the same time, you know, there's a lot of these things that we can do simultaneously. Okay. So I am losing altitude. The trim, give it a little more power, because we brought, brought it back below 2,000. Good. Okay. Yeah. Just turn, yeah, turn to the south. Right and the whole goal of this is to kind of keep our eyes outside and just ensure that there's nobody else in the area that we're going to potentially run into. And since you are a little bit behind the power curve, that's a term that we use when, you know, we're getting a little behind the airplane. Go ahead and, go ahead and you know, utilize the power to your need to get back up to 7,500. Stay in command, right? Right. It's hard to remember not to ask permission. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> We can increase this angle of, of turn too. Um, I usually use about a 30 degree bank. This is about. Are these 15 or 10? Um, that's going to be approximately 20 degrees, roughly. So a little bit more than that. Than that second line. Yeah. That first notch. Yeah, that notch. And typically, what we use for determining angle of bank is the attitude indicator. So right now you're at 10 degrees. Oh, perfect. Here's 15, and then there's 30. And then what I'd like you to do is kind of, once you get to 30, look outside and see what it looks like. And that's kind of the picture that you want to aim for every time I ask you to do a 30, bank angle, a 30 degree angle turn. You know, that's the picture you're aiming for, not this, right? I want you to look outside. Okay. Um, okay, sweet. So this is a perfect, um, perfect heading. So a little low. Alright, radio calls. We can tell South Valley that we are six and a half miles to the east, maneuvering 7,500. South Valley 35 minutes, right base runway 16. Six and a half miles east, maneuvering at 7,500. Or whatever your altitude is. South Valley 7503 Whiskey. We are. Six and a half miles southeast maneuvering. 75. At 7,500 feet, South Valley. Nice. Okay, I can't hear them. That's probably okay. 
it's a little loud. Is it is it quiet in your headset? It's quiet on their call. Yeah, listen, listening to those dudes is a little quiet. It's it's muffled, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm I'm listening to them. I can kind of hear what they're saying. Over time, you'll be able to pick it's it up. It's mostly just guys doing touch and goes over there. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do slow flight. Um, our altitude is verified. We're almost 7,500, so that's good. Um, gas is on the fullest tank. Undercarriage is fixed. Mixture set. For takeoff, what we can do is re-lean actually for the altitude that we're at. Every uh, 1,500 to 2,000 feet, we should re-lean the, the, the mixture. So we can do that real quick just by pulling it back. There's a drop, set it back, boom, done. Okay, let's do some slow flight. So to set up for slow flight, we just need to first pull the power back to, um, let's, let's pull it back to 15 for now. <laughs> okay, so I'm, as I'm pulling this out, I'm gonna be pulling the yoke out. That's right. What I'd like you to do is also introduce one notch of flaps. Oh yeah. Try to do this at the same time. Try not to get too focused on one thing at a time. There you go. Keep pulling back on the yoke. Retrim. Forward. Nice. Let's do another notch of flaps. You're gonna end up with that thing all the way up. The flap. The, the trim. trim. Yeah. Oh, the trim. I um, felt like I just. Did. All right, now remember the slower we get, the more power we're going to need. Okay. We're still not down to 1,500 RPM, though. That's all right. So I just did that to initiate the, the slowdown okay. process. Do you need more power, though, because I'm starting to lose the altitude. Good. And let's do one more notch of flaps. Down Valley, helicopter one whiskey mics turning right face for runway 16, momentarily Wait. delayed in a uh, running landing. So, our goal here is to try and get as slow as possible without stalling the airplane. So, what I'd like to see is maybe 55 or 60, something like that on the, the airspeed indicator. Okay. And we're still in a little bit of a descent, so let's try and pitch a power to get back up to 75. South Valley traffic, helicopter 221, whiskey Mike, turning final approach, runway 16, South Valley. There you go, nice. South Valley traffic, Sears State Echo Echo, we're at Garfield Stack, 6,400 inbound, or South Valley. Sweet. There's 60. I bet we could hit 55. I bet we could get even slower than that. South Valley traffic, I'd say, right that one, runway 1-6. It's a game. See how slow you can get it. That's what my wife says all the time. <laughs> Don't want to know. I'm just creating more editing points for myself in the video, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. <laughs> creating more work for yourself. Cut that part out. <laughs> Release two different versions of the movie. Let's go ahead and make a right turn, 180 degrees. As you do this, don't look inside at all. I want you to look outside the whole time. We're going to turn back just straight north. All yep. Right, here comes a right turn. This is why I didn't know that thing was an attitude indicator, because it's usually looking like that. Uh, let's, let's see how much more bank we can give it. Remember, as you increase your angle of bank, the stall of the aircraft, uh, the airspeed at which the aircraft stalls, increases. So we got to be cognizant of that. In slow flight, we try not to go too much more than about 15 degrees of bank. You're more than 15. Ah, he's right at 15. There oh, that's go. that second mark is 15? Um, in the be in between the, the second and, or first and second is 15. So he's oh, at okay. 10 the green now. Arrow. So yeah, he's right. Yeah, yeah. Man, don't mind me. Backseat flyer. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying not to be, honestly. It's so hard. I'm like, shut up, Randy's the teacher. <laughs> All right, let's see now. Once we level wings here, let's see how slow we can get it. Okay, let's see. We got it to, to 60 on the last one. Let's see if we can get 55. All right. Do I want to see where I'm at real quick? With the... but now your speed's increasing because we're okay. level. So pull power back a little bit more. And pull back on the yoke. That's right. Yoke to about 2,000. Turning right crosswind, taxi way out of parallel, one big south alley. Oh, that's 
good. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I like it. South Valley Unicom, is a fuel truck available? Honestly, though, it's good. That's real good, huh? Yeah. I thought we can get even slower, though, because we still got plenty of power to work with. Oh, oh, he's, oh there's the there's stall. Yeah. Will I get in trouble if I put it into a stall? Uh, yes. I, I'm skipping a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> well, skipping the whole, ahead. The whole goal of this is not to stall. Not to stall. It's okay. as close as you can. So let's, let's see if we can give it a little... So we want this stall indicator on. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Because that actually comes on about five or so knots above stall. Right. So I think we're at 55 right now. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's real good. So the PTS, Practical Test Standards, the book that is going to hold you guys to the standard for the check ride, actually states that you need to be so close to stall that any increase in pitch or reduction in power or increase in angle of bank, any one of those things causes a stall if you do it. So oh. if, if I were to pull back any more, does it stall? It, yeah. it isn't yet, so that means we can go even further. We want to be right at the buffet, pretty much, where the airplane's kind of shaking. It's starting to. Right. That's, that's the goal. What is this angle blinking engine run time? Uh, we're just at a higher angle of attack. Cool. Alright, so what I'd like for you to do is recover from this by adding, uh, I don't know, 2400 pounds, or uh, pounds, RPM, and reducing your notch of flaps one time, uh, one step at a time. Roger, so I'll probably hook up to one whiskey mic, right face to final taxiway alpha, parallel one six, landing hotel five. Yeah, we'll slowly start increasing our airspeed. Incrementally reducing flaps. Nice. Okay, so the whole goal next time, Jake, is for you to do all of that without me really guiding you through it. Okay, that's the goal. And last notch flaps. Southbound traffic coming up 5200 with you, Mike, 2300 RPM. Alpha Hotel 4, parallel 16 South Valley. Go 7420 on altitude. Southbound traffic diamond star 453, delta 3, about 3 miles. The next maneuver I'd like to do is a power on stall. So um, let's go ahead and continue increasing our speed for a moment. But I'd like to walk you through what we're going to do next. Remember the power on stall is simulating that we're stalling the aircraft shortly after takeoff. Okay. So we need to configure the aircraft to simulate that setting, takeoff, which means we need to slow down to a rotation speed and then apply power as if we were actually taking off. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's pull power back to 15. Downwind for 16 South Valley. Are I going to be pulling back on this? Oh yeah, absolutely. Every time. Just maintain 75. Trying to maintain 75. Yep. Keep that back pressure coming in. Turn him down a little bit. He's obnoxious. <laughs> Keep on back, keep on back. What was that? I think it was somebody adjusting their seat. Yeah, sorry, I, I adjusted my bum on the seat. Keep on back. We want to keep the airspeed coming down, but don't want to lose altitude. Okay, let's do 60. Apply full power. And pull back on the yoke. Keep the wings level, so all the way in. All the way. Apply a little bit of right rudder, and pull back on the yoke. So now we're simulating that we're taking off, but we're doing so with excessive pitch. So keep pulling back, keep pulling back, keep pulling back, and we're going to stall the plane. Now, as we increase angle of attack, right rudder, more right rudder. There you go. Keep pulling back on the yoke. Nice, keep pulling back. Here comes the stall horn, that's good. A little buffeting. Once it stalls, I want you to, to bring it to a full break where the nose drops. Once it does that, just relax your back pressure. So keep pulling back, keep it coming. Here it goes. Getting pretty close. One more. That's almost it. Boom, that's a break. 
That's a break. So go ahead and just relax your back pressure. Nice. Sweet. And then we just start climbing out of it at a, a normal VY climb of 85 or so. Okay. Perfect. Sweet. Let's go ahead and turn around. Reduce power back to 2,000. Make a right turn to the south. Do all that at once. So, um, if you didn't relax the back pressure, you would continue that dive. Yeah. Yep. And right. we actually call it, it's called a falling leaf. You guys want to see that? Uh, yeah. Have you heard of it before? Uh-uh. It's when the uh -huh. airplane does, it does this. It just keeps... Just drops straight down, yep. kind of? Well, it drops, and then it recovers, and then you stall again, and then it recovers. Oh, cool. And, yeah, we call it the falling leaf. That's awesome. But it can be bad because each successive drop gets more and more uh, aggressive. Are we, go are we going to be doing an incipient spin? If, if you want. I, I don't want to take it too far with Jake, but if, if you want to see it, I'd be happy to show you. Yeah, I don't want to test these meds to their fullest. <laughs> Dang it. So yeah. far, I'm, I'm doing really well. This is the best I've really? felt ever. Oh, that's awesome, awesome, man. That's great. Yeah. Congrats. All right. The turn coming in. Let's pull back a little bit because we are descending. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Feel the G's a little bit. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do power off stall on this one. Um, let's pull back on the yoke. Let's get back up to 7,500, a little bit low. And you can do whatever you need to do to get back up there. Okay. So as you're doing this, the power off stall is simulating a stall during the landing phase of flight. So we need to configure the aircraft as such. Once you get back up to 75, we'll start in, uh, increasing the flaps one step at a time. And we'll pull power back to an approach speed of 65 knots. Okay. Um, let's angle a little bit more to the, the right. Okay. Just a point away from the mountain. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and put in one notch of flaps. Reduce power, 2,000 roughly. Another notch of flaps. Back pressure. Let's go full flaps. There you Ooh. go. Oh, almost. Almost. Keep on. Uh, okay. Gotta there click go. it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're aiming for about 65. There's about 70. Okay. Here's 65. Reduce your back pressure. Push forward. I want you to capture that 65. Okay. We're going to simulate that we're coming in on final. Right? Okay. For a landing. This is how it should look on final every time. This sight picture outside. This is how it should feel. Let go of the controls for a sec. Yeah, 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 we got to retrain him. Retrain I was going to say, I'm like, I already know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I've mastered the art of making it look like I'm not pulling back when I am. I got to gotta pay attention to that more. Um, uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and pitch forward slightly because we want to continue a descent. Keep that, that sight picture out there. Okay. And keep the wings level too. Nice. Decrease power a little bit. Increase to 2,000. And that's just the starting point. So touchy. It's going to change. Okay. okay, what I'd like you to do now is pull the power to idle and pitch back. And we're going to stall the airplane all the way to idle. All the way to idle? Uh huh? And pitch back. Because this is what you do during landing. You have to pull the power to idle. Oh, jeez. Okay, and you're just going to hold it off the ground, hold it off the ground, keep pitching back, try and keep the ailerons in neutral, and now it stalls. So let's recover. Power. Back pressure. Let's get in a climb. Full power. Full power. There you go. I actually like that you were a little slower with that because you don't want to apply full power in a descent. You want to get the airplane back up in a climb. Let's go ahead and reduce one notch of flaps. 
immediately. So this recovery process should happen in, in about a two second time frame. Okay, so that was me trying to do a touch, or that was basically you know, an emergency on landing, so I'm trying to yeah, simulate recover. that. You're trying to get off the ground, right? So you, do, you, do you reduce flaps all the way to recover from that? Eventually, like once. but one notch at a time. Oh, now, okay. you don't want to do it all at once. The first notch, though, should be retracted immediately. Oh, so okay. Power, get the airplane back into climb, retract flaps. That's that's the sequence. That's what I that's what I was asking because you said two seconds. I was like, okay, so it's just the first notch in the first two seconds. That's right. Okay. And now we're in a climb. We're stable. The aircraft is is recovered. So let's go ahead and do one more notch of flaps. Give it a second. Let's it's still it it's still stable. One last notch of flaps. That was the last one. Oh, we got one more. There we go. Oh, whoa. Never. It looked like it was all the way up. Might yeah. have been the, the deflection of the ailerons. Cool. All right, let's make another turn to the right, back to the north. And we haven't said anything for a while, so I'd like to make a, an announcement. Uh, south Valley traffic, we're about, what, nine miles southeast of the airfield, maneuvering 7,500. Oh, was I supposed to say that? Yes. I, sorry, I thought you were just really saying that. <laughs> I, I was on the call. Guiding you. Well, I, w I should have listened. <laughs> So All right. No, that's okay. So okay, tell them who we are, where we are, how high we are, and that's it. Um, 8.9 miles east, south now east. I call it nine. Yeah, I'd say nine. And let's begin the turn back to the north, though, because we do get pinched off here with airspace. Really? Uh-huh. For, for maneuvering altitude? Uh, just the, the lateral dimension. So if you look here, map, you can see the blue lines. Uh -huh. We're headed directly towards it, so that... That's the class Bravo airspace that we can't so, go. So if we were going to Provo, we'd have to stay low. west, east of that? East of it or low? Oh, okay. We'd have to descend. So it's just like as if we were going across I-15, we'd have to get that low? Yes. And they change, there's certain shelves, so the, the shelf to the north of this blue line is 6,000. To the south, I think it's 7,000. As you get further away, it gets higher. Okay. Um, I do want to show you, though, uh, a maneuver real quick, so let me take flight controls. Your flight controls? My flight controls. Just steer back over here to the north. Oh, jeebs. What bank is this, 45? That's 30. Is it? Yep. 45 is this. <laughs> okay. Right there. Whoa. And we will be practicing a maneuver like this. It's called steep turns. Well, we, we so I have not done a steep turn yet. Though. You have not. No, <laughs> neither of you have. And we'll get to that eventually. It's a more of a, a challenge. Okay, it's a, a technical maneuver compared to what we're doing with the so, stalls. So you never want to be at 60 then. Oh, no, that's, yeah, you don't want to exceed that's 60. That's insane. That's a lot. Okay, so what I was going to do, though, is show you the falling leaf, which is, it's, it's pretty tame. Let me know if you're uncomfortable, Jake. Or if you start oh, feeling a little it. wheezy. See how it goes. It would be so cool if those drugs just worked for everything. Okay, here's the buffet. There is the stall. See how it broke on its own? Uh -huh. There's another break. Like recovers for a sec. There's another break. <laughs> There's another, and they get excess, you know, more aggressive every time. So that's why when you first have that break happen, you need to reduce pitch at power. Otherwise, you're going to get into that falling leaf pattern, which can be very dangerous. So, on that first sign of, of a stall, you got to recover. So, we'll do it again. Now, I'm coordinated too, and that's why the nose falls straight. straight. Like that. But if I'm not coordinated, if I do a little bit of left rudder, for example, the plane is going to pitch and bank to the left quite a bit. <laughs> and that was a very, very, very tame um, incipient, right? So what I did with Jordan the other day was quite a bit more aggressive. How you feeling? Right now I'm okay. Good. Let me show you. Well, I was going to say maybe let me take it for just a minute. To sure. Sure. Your flight controls. I mean, I feel okay right now, but... That's fine. No problem. It sneaks up quick. Yeah. Not a problem I don't want to break that line. So I think if I just... He needs, you need to be in control. You need yeah. to be in control for just You're, a minute. You can't be a passenger. That makes sense. That's how a lease is, too. Yeah, it's like driving a car versus... Yeah. Sweet. Wow. 
allows, allows myself to readjust. Just move it around a little you bit. You know what? That's all right. We don't have to do that on this flight. We can do it on the next one. What I like to do, though, is spend some time in the traffic pattern. So let's descend down to 5,800. Okay. Descend down to 5,800. And locate um, the temple. Oh, it's right off our wing. Perfect. So we need to do whatever we have to do in terms of maneuvering and power to get below 6,000 before crossing I-15. But the goal is to fly directly over that temple. I can never see, not never, but it's hard for me to spot things. It's right, on, if, if you look straight up over the wing, the temple's on the ground. On Leading that, edge now of the you wing. probably can't see it. There it oh, is. I see it. Okay, yep. perfect. So that's what we want to do is fly right, right over that. We want to be at 5,800 before crossing I-15. Probably need to turn right, Jake. Turn right? Yeah, turn right. Do like a one, like a like a slow 360 and get down below 5,000, 6,000. I'm trying to get to 5,800, but that's a, that's a lot of distance for I-15. Don't doubt me. Um, <laughs> Don't doubt me. He's gonna prove a point here. Um, but I think what Jordan he, he has a good a good uh, point. Um, sometimes we have to maneuver the airplane in circles or, you know, do a, a steep spiral, fly north or south, and in the process lose altitude. So uh, uh, sometimes if you're going to just point it forward like what we're doing right now, it can be a little too aggressive, um, depending on the conditions and, and whatnot. But today it's pretty smooth, so I don't think there was much of a problem with your technique. Let's fly over towards the temple. There's 5,900, so we'll start leveling off. Top by traffic, Turkey 7503 Whiskey is five miles southeast. Flying east, uh, eastbound over the temple to enter the pattern 1670. All right, back up to 5,800. And now that we're a little lower, uh, we got to increase the mixture slightly. I pulled it out as we climbed. And let's get prepared for landing. Which means we're on a checklist. Really? Yep, I just had that thought go in my mind right <laughs> in your mouth. Nice. It's like, I know what to do. <laughs> so thank you for... Sometimes I talk too soon. I needed confirmation. Okay, I'm going to do more power. Pre-landing brakes. Pedal test. Not really sure how I would test that. Yeah, you just push on the toe pedals and make sure that you have brake pressure. Can you do? Oh, oh, I'm descending. I don't want to do that. And let's steer more towards the west as well, kind of towards the brickyard. Do you remember the brickyard? Yep. Cool. Uh, I'm getting down to 5500. Traffic pattern elevation is. It's 56. 56. I try to stay a little higher than that as we're pretty far out. Um, just because altitude is your friend. Anything were to happen, altitude is the best thing you can have. Okay. Unless it's a fire. <laughs> then you don't want altitude. <laughs> get to the ground, get to the ground. Yep. It's off traffic, Turkey 7503 Whiskey, four miles southeast of the airfield. We are 5,600 westbound to enter the pattern 167. You're falling. Yeah, so just look out the window. You're, you're pitched down a little bit, so we'll pull back. Nice. See if we can uh, run a checklist. Okay, so there's the airport. So we're basically looping around and then landing it. Yeah. Like the last flight we did together. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, keep pitching back. Okay. Two landing brakes, pedal landing light on. I think we already have that on. Autopilot. We don't have. Sorry, I was just, I said we, I think we have landing light on, but I wanted to check it just oh, so okay. I'm better at finding it immediately it. in later flights. Autopilot off, seatbelts and harness. Everybody's seatbelts on? Yep. Yeah. Uh, mixture to best power. You adjusted that already. I did, yes. Um, car P as required. We're good there. Fuel pump on. Get that bad boy on. A. A 
fuel to the proper tank. Let's look outside real quick. Notice how the nose is dipping down, pull yeah. back. Thank you. And make a right turn to the north so we can start heading towards the airport. This is the brickyard. Traffic Cherokee 750 through Whiskey, you're about three miles southwest of the airfield. Going to be joining right down one on 4516 South Valley. What's that? I just saw something fly. Oh. It was a bird. Oh, okay. It was a seagull. Thank you. Proud that I spotted it. Yeah. yeah. Keep pitching back. Let's get back up there. All right. Make sure your carbine fuel pump on and fuel the proper tanks. Okay, so the fuel tanks look about equal. They're not too far off from each other. Okay. So you can I'm leave it on the right tank. I mean, when would we change it? When it's like within five gallons more or less? Usually, when it has, usually around 15 minutes or so of time. Um, Holy crap! There's a lot of birds. Yeah, we got to be careful with those, huh? Freaking a. Um, fuel pump on, fuel proper. Flaps is required. So we'll start putting those down once we get established in a descent on uh, a beam the 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 landing markers. Cool, so we're on the downwind. This is about the distance you want to be. So kind of get a reference as to where the runway is in relation to your wingtip. Sometimes it's right at the edge. Sometimes it's about a, you know, a three quarters of the way inside the wing. This is a, a pretty good position though. Let's pitch back slightly or in a descent. Stop by traffic, Cherokee 750 through Whiskey, right downwind, 16 South Valley. Okay, gas is on the fullest tank, under carriage is fixed. Taxi to runway 16 via Bravo, South Valley traffic. Yeah, I just want to make sure he wasn't in the air. Yep, under carriage is fixed, mixture set, prop is fixed, seat belts, and a safe place to land. Cool. So, on the runway, you can see those two white markers. That's, that's called the touchdown landing zone. And that's our reference point for where we can go ahead and start pulling back power and introducing flaps. So we're beaming it now, go ahead and reduce power to about 17 or so, and introduce one notch of flaps. Sweet. Now we're going to begin our descent. Once the, trap, or the white bars is about 45 degrees off your right shoulder, we'll make a right turn. And we're going to try and do that just about over this road here. Okay. Stop by the traffic helicopter 221 with Mike. Good, begin that turn. The Red Cross wind to the west, South Valley. And we're going to go ahead and enter a base pattern perpendicular to the runway. Typically, we try to be right over this this road. Now, that flag down there is showing a uh, slight wind from, from oh, the yeah. north. We yeah, can check the weather um, again, but that flag is showing wind. Um, another notch of flaps. Pull back. And South Valley traffic, 7503 Whiskey Red Base, turning final, 16 South Valley. And continue your turn to final. So we'll be landing with so a tailwind we'll there. do the third notch on final. We're going to give it a try, and I'm actually going to check the weather here and our ground speed on final. Keep the turn coming in and reduce pitch. Point minus three, altimeter three. Ooh. Zero, five, and four flaps. Four. There we go. South Valley Regional. Do I want this at neutral? Just whatever you need. Eight, three, two, Zulu weather, wind, three, zero, zero, at three, visibility. It's only three knots, down. short. Yeah, okay. Slow down a little bit. Um, you're a little high, so pitch, pitch forward slightly. And add, add just a little bit of power. There you go. Now we're going to try and keep it over the center line. Very small movements. A little lower the nose. We're going to continue this descent. There you go. Now start walking the power out all the way to idle. Don't pull back yet. Oh, no. I'm actually going to give you a little bit of power here. There we go. Nice. So you started pulling back a little too soon. Oh, 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 oh. Left, left. Now let's let's just be gentle on the controls. That's what I did. Up. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Out, uh, power all the way to idle. Nice. Let's reduce our flaps too, and that'll help. And we can pull back on the control yoke too, and that's going to reduce, um, and we can slow down with the brakes. That's going to reduce lift on the wings and put friction on the brakes, or on the wheels. Oh, 
Don't oh, turn yet. Don't turn yet. No, no, that was. I pushed equal in it. Um, I don't like that. Like I'm pushing equally on the brakes and it's huh. wanting to turn right. I'll have to. I'll have to get it over there and check those out. Let's, we, let, yeah. Let's actually turn around and try and hit that Alpha Two um, taxiway. You can turn around the runway. Run yeah. Yeah, you can. Whoa. Listen. Top by top in Cherokee 7503 Whiskey, back taxiing runway 16 for Alpha 2. We'll be exiting Alpha 2. Back taxiing, that's what they call it. Sweet, I feel like I learned a lesson just now. I did. I oh, hope cool. you did. <laughs> oh yeah, that was great. That was, that was I'm glad I overshot it, honestly. That was a pretty good landing, actually. Yeah, not, not except for the afterward. But like, I, sp I pushed both in to like slow down at equal, well, maybe I didn't, but it felt like I was, and I thought I was. I imagine that's not the first time I've heard that, so um, I'm not sure if it's... So it could just be the brakes being applied different? Yeah. Um, they could have a little different fluid levels in the lines, too. Let's go ahead and stop here. Stop here. Okay. I thought you meant, like, here is in the air. <laughs> before <laughs> before the taxiway. So every time you exit the runway, we'll go ahead and stop and run a checklist. Power up to 1,000. Nice. Let's run the after landing checklist. I started getting warm. Okay, flaps up. Whoo, nice. Car heat off. It's off. Fuel pump off. Our strobes. Are, I just leave them on, right? Uh, we'll them. turn them off. Go just to the center position. Okay. Nice. Um, landing, landing light off. We'll leave that on since it's our taxi light, right? Yeah. And then pedo heat off. Uh, mixture as required. So we set up for landing, but we can go ahead and lean it again for taxi, just like we did prior to uh, uh, heading out to one six this morning. Uh, we don't have, don't go all the way up. To. Not not for the the taxi one. For the taxi one, you can leave it low, and we'll just do a real quick lean. Perfect. That's that's good. Okay. All right, and then trim to take off, and then alt squawk. South Valley 7503 Whiskey, taxiing, where am I? We're at Alpha 2. Alpha 2. And we're taxiing to the ramp via Alpha 2 and Bravo. South Valley 7503 Whiskey, taxiing to the ramp from Alpha 2. Bravo. Bravo. South Valley. Wait, let's do it. Let's Clear right. Bravo. Oh, via. Yeah, Alpha and, and, and Alpha 2 is the uh, taxiway that we exited the runway from. The right, clear left. You ready, Jordan? Oh, I am ready. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Sweet, Jake, that was fun. Yeah, that was great. That was my the that was awesome. That was my best. Like, I felt I felt like I was able to think when you communicated with me. I heard at least 75% of it, which yeah. is a huge improvement. <laughs> I agree. We'll go straight. And I also felt like I was a little, I wasn't straight. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought you said you were listening to me. <laughs> well, I was talking. <laughs> I was talking. <laughs> you weren't listening. That's part, of the, that, that's part of the 25% that I that I missed. <laughs> Let's park behind this blue Cirrus, uh, maybe like 20, 30 feet. Beautiful bird right there. Oh. Actually, it looks like he might be moving, so... If he moves, we might even just take a spot. South ramp to 160 of Bravo. Well, if we'd have to break her, I guess we could break it. The strap off the ice. I can do that. So, oh, you were switching out anyway. Yeah, we're going to switch gonna out. Yeah. yeah, that's not even a parking spot. So, he left his truck. Yeah, it's usually the airport trucks. They have like a pile of them over there. Very cool. So um, one thing, though, that Jordan pointed out prior to landing is that the wind, we kind of saw the flag, the wind was coming from the north. Um, one thing we did not do prior to landing is checking the weather. We did that on final. So next time, when, I'm, when we're doing the checklist, uh, and I know you were kind of trying to focus on a lot of things, that's that's a point in the flight where we'll get the, the weather and okay. make sure that we're aligning up for the right runway. So okay. with that slight tailwind, would the runway change or no? Um, you know, 
again, you're going to be listening for other traffic, and it seemed like everyone's still using 1-6. So with that light of a wind, I wouldn't change the pattern um, unless it's requested. Does somebody request it? Yeah, you can request it. Oh, okay. And so if there's, there's nobody out here, maybe I would do it. So and everyone has to say, uh, aye, aye. There's no, hold on one second, Jordan. Sorry. There's no um, let someone out, <laughs> let someone in checklist. All, but I do want to turn the prop off. Yeah, we'll just shut it all the way down, just like we normally will. Okay. Um, so, avionics off. Let's just turn that one off. The GPS one is automatic. Oh, crap. That's oh, that's good. Right all the way. Oh, we're good? Yeah. Okay. Um, avionics, missed your full lean. So, all the way in here. No, all the way out. There you go. And... 